My musical aesthetic incorporates an otherworldly feel. I would consider that ethereal. Ethereal can mean many different things. It could mean light, where it's angelic, celestial, beautiful, heavenly, serene, or it could be shadow-like and dark and haunting and mysterious and creepy, perfect for horror. So this library encompasses all things ethereal and is a one-stop shop for anything you need to sound otherworldly. What's really cool about this library is that you don't just use my voice as a lead instrument with the standard articulations, the true legato, staccato, and sustains. You can also use it as I would use it in my own work as a composer or a sound designer. I love using my voice as an instrument. I love harmonies, choirs, using my breath as textures. So I've created two different parts of this library in addition to just a lead vocal. In the light portion of the library, you have two categories, angelic and mystical. When I sing in a breathy but light way, it creates this celestial, peaceful type sound, and that's incorporating a warmer style. When I have more of a direct tone, I also sing in a different language, and I call that light language. And in phrases, you have a lot of that. I think what's so cool about singing in a different language, especially one you've created, is that you use the music to define what you're trying to say. So I have a lot of mystical oohs and phrasing that is more of my elvish, fairy-like mystical sound. And then with the angelic portion, more of the whole toned celestial vibe. The shadow side of the library is really cool because you have haunting and horror. In the haunting section, you have melancholy, gloomy, sad, thought-provoking tones to work with and phrases. In the horror, you have straight up creepy and really scary sounds. We have ghost breaths, ghost moans, phrases that have a more guttural feel to it. If you wanna score any type of scary, creepy music, there's all these different textures that you can use. The ambient drone section is a giant collection of drones, both in light and shadow styles. It was so fun handcrafting all of these different ambient drones straight out of my voice. Layering them, processing them, speeding up and speeding down, creating different tones so that you don't just have a lead vocal to play with, you have all of these ambient drones to create and layer with a vocal. When I'm creating, I use my process as what I call sonic painting. I find a palette of sounds that can capture the mood and atmosphere that I want. So when using my voice as a lead instrument, it's unprocessed and it's raw. How I use my voice in my own work, it's heavily processed with verb, delay, and all the cool effects that I like to add to it to give it that otherworldly feel. So instead of you trying to find all your different presets to try to match this ethereal sound, I have printed all of my effects into two categories, light and shadow in the ethereal dreamscapes section. Whether you have a fast deadline for a film, TV, or video game project, you've got a ton of cool sounds to use. What's really awesome about this library is it's super user friendly and I wanted to make a really cool otherworldly sounding ethereal vocal library that's great for composers to use, producers to use, whether you're advanced or you're a novice and you just wanna play around with some really cool sounds. Having this vocal library for me to use as a composer is amazing. I'm having so much fun designing all of the different sounds that I've always wanted to create that I can't even sing. I have different staccatos and legatos and sustains that I can create on the fly and not have to do vocal gymnastics for. So it's really, really fun as a composer to just utilize my voice as an instrument and 
be able to go to if I don't feel like singing and know that I sound like myself. I've created a library that is very user friendly. Uh, the format that SoundIron has done makes it really easy to learn how to create real sounding vocals, just like I'm in the room with you. I've collaborated with a lot of amazing artists and I would consider this to be my biggest collaboration to date. Even though I won't be physically in the room, you'll have my vocals at your fingertips and all the sounds that I hear in my mind. I cannot wait to hear all the amazing music you're gonna create with this.